I'm back to do part two. If it gets loud in here, it'll be because my daughter gets home. I don't know. She should be good in here in like the next 10, 15 minutes, but I didn't feel like going into my room. So I'm sorry if it starts getting loud in here pretty soon if I'm not done with this before then. But let's get started on the second part. And I forgot to introduce myself again. My name's Lori, if you're new here. And welcome to Lori Book Trials. Okay, let's get back to talking about other books that are either duologies, series that are just starting up. Of course, like I said, I'm not doing them all because there's a few that I have that I just don't feel like like bringing out. But like I have um, like the... Uh, Percy Jackson's. I read the first three, I believe. Three or four? Three. That's it. I want to read all that series, but I'm not going to bring all those out. We'll be here all day. Um, I have the first book in, um, like, oh uh, gosh, what is it called? Uh, Furyborn. And that's it. So I didn't bring them out if I only had the first one. So, okay, let's get started. So we got... I think there's at least three. I'm not sure if there's more than three, but we got The Forbidden Library and The Mad Apprentice. I got the first two, so I do want to buy the other one and continue on with it, of course. But uh, this is, I think her father dies or goes missing, and she has to go live with her uncle, and then she gets, like, into this place with the cat. And I mean, there's a talking cat. She's not supposed to go into the library, but she does, and then things happen. That's what that is. So, like I said, Forbidden Library and the Mad Apprentice. Okay, I didn't get the other one out, but we got Wonder Wander Smith. How you say it? Called however you say it is. The second book in the Nevermore series, The Call of Morgan Crow. Jessica Towns Town Jessica Townsend is the author. But yes, this one. I'm really excited to get to. I'm probably going to read it next month. I don't know if I'm participating in, um, what is it called? Young adult, young adults or kids or mid grade, middle grade, whatever. I know there's a readathon doing with middle grade, made middle grade books. So I don't know if I'm participating in that, but I'm planning on trying to read this one at least, even if I don't necessarily really participate in it, but we'll see. Um, we got... I don't know what I did with the other one. I think this is the third one, Lair Dreams. I mean, no, The Dividers, I just read. That's right. I still got to finish up Lair Dreams. I started it, but I just got into one of those moods where I just couldn't, like, get into it anymore. I mean, it's not bad. I didn't hate it. I just lost interest for right now. But that don't mean I'm not going to go back and finish it because I'm, sh I, I'm really liking it. It's just I just you know, like some books you just have to be in the mood for, and right now I'm just not in the mood for this. But yes, I'm bound and determined to finish it, though. And then I don't have the first one anymore because I gave it to my niece, so I'm going to need to buy the first one. But from Stalker Jack the Ripper, I got the second one. Haunted Prince Dracula and Escape from Houdini. This is like she, her and her friend slash boyfriend I guess you could say they um they solve mysteries basically the first one was solving Jack the Ripper who was going around killing people this one is Dracula I think yeah and this one is Houdini so each of them has to do with like a figure you know like a famous figure so yeah uh, I, like you, as you can see, I started it. There's a couple of tabs there, and I was liking it, but I just, it's another one that you have to be in the mood for, and I'm not in the mood for it right now, so yeah. Okay, my daughter's here, so it might get a little loud, and I'm sorry if it gets a little loud, Hi, but mommy. yeah. Hi, beautiful. And then the next one, I read the first two, but I'm rereading them in Burn the Ashes, my favorite series ever. Hi, well, besides like Sai Fan, you know, and Thunderhead as well. Which reminds me, did you guys know that um, on Amazon they have it where you can pre-order the Toll now? It comes out like September 4th. I'm so excited. But, oh, sorry. I just had to plug that since I said that I was just now talking about Sai Fan 
Thunderhead. But yeah, I am so excited. I, as soon as I found out it was available to pre-order, no cover yet. But anyways, we got Ember Napshes, a Torch Against the Night, and a Reaper at the Gate. These are rereads. This I haven't read yet. I started it. I shouldn't say I haven't read it. I started it. Just haven't finished it. But I'm gonna take my time on this. I probably won't finish this until like towards the end of the year because um, uh, I don't think the next one comes out until next year. Now it's supposed to be out this year, but I think it got pushed back till next year. So yeah. Of course, this is a big series. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it's about because you guys should know. Sorry, my arm is hurting. Robin, quite a little bit. I'm trying to do this video, girl. Sorry, you guys. And then I have the third one. I just ordered it, so I should get it Tuesday or Wednesday. We got Grave Mercy and Dark Triumph. And now I'm just waiting for the last one to get here. But I'm bound to determine to start this next month as well. So beautiful. I'm probably next month going to be doing a lot of like books that are part of the series. So, yeah. And uh, I guess it's about like they something happens to them and they go like into a nun thingy and it's like a, a nuns basically assassins a school of assassins that are nuns I guess you can say kind of if I'm not mistaken and there's like different people that you meet like I guess the girl from one of the girls from this series will be in this series I think that's how it goes I'm not positive but yeah. I'm really, 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 really excited to get the last one. And yeah, I'm going to, I want to read these three because I know there's a new one coming out. Um, I think, I don't think it's the same. I'm not sure if it's like, if it's the same, just in the same world, like a companion. I'm not sure how that one is. I didn't really look because I didn't know what it was really. So I didn't want to get spoiled, but I want to read these three for then I could buy the newest one that's coming out. If that makes sense. And then this one, yay, you just got them. I just got the, this is another one that's going to be a spoiler. Because this is going to be on my, um, my vlog that I'm doing today as well. I already opened it. But anyways, we got the Valent. I know this is about get gladiators. I read this, but it's been a while ago. So I'm going to reread it, tab it, have some fun. And then the second one is the Defiant. And the third one is The Triumph. And I just got this one, like I said, today. So that is another spoiler for when you see my vlog. Sorry, my tattoo is a little hurting. Hurting a little bit. But I remember, like, devouring the first book. Devouring it. But I didn't want to continue until I knew the whole thing was done. So I'm excited. I love these covers. Usually I don't like, like, where there's, you know, like, people on the cover. When they show their face, I don't mind, like, if it's their back usually or something like that but I usually don't like the face but I don't mind this they look so badass <laughs> we're almost done you guys I got other books like I said but I'm not going to do that one okay I just got done so I'm not rereading the first one but I just I reread um Everless and now I got Evermore but I don't know if I when I'm gonna start this one I think this is only a duology I'm not positive, so if I'm wrong, let me know down below if you know. But I'm pretty sure this might be just a duology. So if it is, I'll be excited. But if it's not, I'll be excited. <laughs> you know, but yeah. So I didn't get the first one out because, like I said, I read it recently and I don't want to reread it because that was my second reread. And then we got this. I'm not sure if this is a seer, if this is, if there's only, if it's only a duology or if there's more. But we got Rosemart and Uber Touched. And this one is, I know it has something to do with a disease or something. Like some people die and some people don't. They're like get marks on them or something. I'll tell you what it says. A healer who cannot be healed. When Ziva, I guess that's how you say name, Zava, Ziva, something like that, falls for the deadly rose plague. I mean, falls prey to the deadly rose plague. She knows it's only a matter of time before she scrumbles. So scum, yeah, some of that. Now she's destined to live her days in isolation, cut from her people and unable to practice her art until a threat to her village created 
I mean, creates a need that only she can fill. A soldier shattered by war, broken by torture at the hands of the Amparin, Amparin, something like that, Empire, Dinas, 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 it's D-I-N-E-A-S, thirst for revenge against his captors. Now escaped and reunited with his tribe, he'll do anything to free them from Amparin's world. Even if it means undertaking a plan that risks not only his life, but his self, I mean his very self. Thrust together on a high stake mission to spy on the capital, the two couldn't be more different. Ziva, Ziva, how do you say her name? Deeply committed to her vow of healing and Dennis, Dennis, yearning for vengeance. But as they grow closer, they must find common ground if they want to protect those they love. And amongst the consumed fair discovery, the two grapple with a mutual attraction that could break both of their carefully guarded hearts. Robin, don't turn it on yet, honey. Oh. I'm doing a video, honey. Sorry, she was just getting ready to turn on the TV. But yes, I'm sorry about that, you guys. I didn't mean to, like, yell. <laughs> well, I didn't really yell, but raise my voice during the video. But yeah. So, and that next one, like I said, is at least the second one in it. I don't know. Like I said, if it's a, if it's just a duology or if it's a trilogy. So let me know if you guys know. Otherwise, I'll look it up on my own. And then we got Story Bound and Stories in by Marissa Burt. Marissa? Marissa, yeah, Burt. I know she goes into the story or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Let me, I'll tell you what it says. It says, in the land of story... Kids go to school to learn to be the perfect character, a brave hero, a trusty sidekick, even the most drastically villains. They dream of the day when they will live out tales written just for them. But when an ordinary girl named Una Fairchild finds herself written into the story, she discovers that the magical land is threatened by a dark secret. As she digs deeper into the story... Story's shattery past. Una realized that she is tied to the world in ways she never could have imagined. And it may be up to her to save it. So, yeah. I started this at one time. I got the, like, a bookmark there. But didn't get very far before I had to put it down. I love this bookmark. I just have to show it off. Lost in the book. So, I am bound and determined to go back and read it. Because... What I read so far is really cute, and this is the next one. I think. I think this is supposed to be the same people. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the companion. So I think this is, these are the only two there is. There are, I'm sorry, that there are. And of course I do have more, like I said, but I'm just not going to bring them out. But I have, like, I still got to read, um, I read, um, this one, <laughs> Stranger Dreamer. I need to read the other one, so I'll be, I have that, and I will be finishing that. So I just want to mention that one. And then, like I said, Percy Jackson, I need to get back to that one. I got a whole bunch of other ones up there that I didn't bring out, but I just have, like, the first book in the series. So I didn't want to bring them out if I only had the first book just wanted to show you at least if I had like two books, you know, just for you guys would see. But yeah, I'm really excited to get going on these. Like some of these I'm more excited than other. I'm thinking about maybe like I said, like picking out two to three that are going to be young adults next for next month since it's whatever it is. I forget what it is. Like a young adults or something month. I forget. But I know there's a readathon for something to do with with um, the younger books an adult book so yeah so I might pick out some of these to read but next month is more going to be about like sequel you know like books that I want to get caught up on and stuff oh uh, yeah so I think that's it for right now of course I got A Curse of Dark and Lonely I know that is that there's more than one book in that so I got that one um I got The Black Coats I'm pretty sure that's a series by Colleen Oak um, yeah, I still got a whole bunch that I didn't show you guys, but like I said, if it was just one book I had, then I wasn't going to bring it out. 
but yeah maybe i will bring i mean do another video with like um books that are just one you know that's not in a series but i really don't have very many like that because i like books i'm more of a series person i like books that have at least two books to go in it for you can at least know a little bit more about the characters that's what i like like at least two to three books in a series i don't mind that so yeah so that's what i usually do i got this new book i'm not going to show it to you because it's in the um it'll be in the vlog for tomorrow so i want to at least keep one of the books a secret but yeah there's this one book i got today and you'll see what i'm talking about in the vlog the only thing is i don't know what it's about because it's an arc and it doesn't say on the arc what it's about but you guys will see what i'm talking about tomorrow when my vlog goes live or late tonight but yeah i think that is it um if you like this video and the first video remember to thumbs Wait, up on them Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, to please subscribe. I love you guys so much. Remember, if you do subscribe, hit the bell icon. And let me know what ser some of the series you have that you need to finish. Or that you need to get caught up on before the next book in that series comes out. Yeah. And I believe that is it. I hope you guys all have a great day. Remember, if you ever need anything, just comment down below and I'll get right back to you. I love you guys very much. I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend and a great weekend read reading time. Tomorrow I'll be reading. I don't know how much reading I'll get done on Sunday because it's family day. But yeah, I will talk to you guys all later. I love you all. You guys are the best. Bye.